G'day everyone, how are we all? Hope you're all doing well. Peter Vlogs doing some hacking and as always keeping it bloody legal. So, hopefully the weather holds out. It does look a bit overcast and I think we might have rain on the way. Don't quote me on it. But it is Ballarat so we've got rain all the bloody time, trust me. Um, but I finally got around and I'm getting around and to uh, installing a solar panel on the roof of the ute or on the back of the canopy. So... Um, this has more pros than cons, trust me. The only con is I've got to install the body thing. Um, and I've worked out that I'm going to bracket it onto the roof. Uh, the downside was, the right size brackets, and the right thickness of the brackets that I needed, for the bolts and everything that I've got to use, because I'm using marine, marine grade, because it is on the roof, it's going to get wet. Um, I've also got silicon there. The holes were a little bit too small, just a fraction, so I had to go through and file them all. <laughs> last night. Um, so that the bolts fit through. But, what I'm going to do, I've got my solar panel here, so, this has, as I say, more pros and cons. I can run my key cutting machines when I'm out and about. I can charge my laptop off it if I'm out. I can run electronics. I have a 1000 watt inverter sitting in the back of the U. It's connected up to the battery pack that this will plug into. I've also got another battery pack on the other side, and I've got a connector on the way for the other one, so... Once one's battery is charged, I can disconnect the solar charger lead, plug it into the other one, and chop and change between the two, just to make sure they're topped up. The one I use the most will be plugged into all the time, but the other one that I'll just use for like USBs and small electronics, um, I'll just top it up when it needs to be. So one of them will be continuous, the other one will just be when I need it. But 300 watt solar panel sitting right here. This is a grade A solar panel. Um, it's actually a really good ball it's really high quality it's going to be 300 watts so I've got the uh, charger controller all wired in and stuck in the, there's no real anywhere I can mount it cleanly um, so I did I did one of the screws on the back window of the canopy and just screwed it in on one side so it's just kind of like hanging there but it works for what I wanted to so now I've got to Put where I want this to sit, because the leads, the power leads aren't very long for it. They're about 90 centimetres, I think. So by the time it comes down in through the window, the sliding window, um, in the middle of the canopy, uh, and then into the solar charger, and then I'm going to mark where the brackets will sit on this. I've got to drill it out, and nut and bolt the brackets together, and then sit on the roof again, mark where I need to drill the holes in the roof of the canopy to put the other nuts and bolts through. Uh, make sure it's all aligned and then silicone all that and when I nut and bolt them in as well uh, so that it's all waterproof I'm not going to have any water leaking in the back of the canopy so let me go get this on the roof we'll have a look at it and uh, mark it all out and we'll see how we go alright so you can see I've got the solar charging controller up in the back corner just there the wiring will come in through that little window not much comes in through there um, and then I'll shut that window up, but got all there, it all runs into that battery pack which is connected to the inverter that runs all the time, the other one I'll just top up when I need it, but this is where I'm going to have it running to, and it's still, so I'm going to plug those cables into that charger, just make sure it's in the right spot, then I'm going to literally take my brackets and mark out where they're going to sit on both the frame and on the canopy and then drill them out um, and bolt them on so onto the frame of the solar panel first and then onto the canopy so we'll get to it and see how All we right, go. I've got my holes where I need them drilled. The ones at the front are a little bit lower because of the angle. I should have grabbed some bigger brackets. Um, but the ones on the back are going to be sitting right. So now i just got to drill these holes out. Um, even if I have to adjust the angle of those brackets a little bit um, to get them to sit flat it's easy enough just to bend them down but anyway and then I've got to give the solar panel a clean and then we can start marking out the ones on the roof and getting it all done so going to uh, yeah do all these out might put you on a little bit of a uh, speed loop but time lapse but anyway Let's get to it.
so I've got the solar panel sitting on the roof. I've put it in the right position. I've marked all the holes on the canopy that I've got to drill out to put the brackets on. I'm going to use some of this. It's uh, roof and gutter uh, silicon, so I don't get any leaks. So I'm going to put this down around the hole. I'm then going to put a washer. I'm then going to put some more silicon and then in the where the nut and bolt is as well push it all through and then do it up um, so that it squishes and it has a layer of silicone in between to hopefully stop any water from coming through fingers crossed that's the goal plan anyway so I'm going to go out drill these holes in the roof add all this silicone and everything and I'll probably take some videos in between and uh, see you all soon right so what have we done? <laughs> so it's all fixed on it's not pretty well not exactly pretty um, and it does piss me off a little bit because it is slightly off to one side. Um, I had to put it off slightly off on the back on the actual roof to get it to fit. But what I'm saying about that, I mean the line in the middle of the solar panel, which you can't see on the camera here, is uh, slightly off to one side by like three mil. For about 10 mil um, but she's all fixed on siliconed in so she ain't gonna leak well I might run some silicon down the inside on the inside um, but she ain't going anywhere she is stuck anyway that's going somewhere to rip the uh, roof off isn't it but she's bolted in washes either side to have a bit more rigid rigidness to the plastic Charge is working. So she's all plugged in. That is running straight. The battery's not turned on. Um, should be charging the battery, but we can run straight power through the solar, and it also charges the battery. Um, so yeah, that, she's all done. She's all installed. Now to clean up the mess, put some more silicon on, and um, close up shop. So what are we doing? Test. T t uh, we have the solar panel on the roof. We're going around to block to see if it wants to leave. <laughs> see if it blows off, because who knows with our luck, <laughs> with how we put it on there. Uh, let's see if it uh, lasts. We might go on the freeway. Okay. 110k should be enough to test it. So... Well, let you know if it gets blown away or rips off the roof of the car. <laughs>